this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today, I am so very super excited that you stopped by. Let me say a huge thank you so much. And I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you so much and I truly appreciate all of your support. So in this video, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I decorate the, um, I guess like the corner wall in my entryway is <laughs> right here is behind me. You guys saw how I decorated my entryway table that's behind me here. And now in front of me on this side is the wall that's behind the door where it's like our coat rack there. So we're gonna be decorating that area. Now, you guys saw in my Clean With Me video, I asked for ideas and inspiration on what I should do in this space because I was totally drawing a blank and because we cannot go out shopping, then I had to use everything that I had at home already, which was totally okay, and I probably would have used many of these items anyway, but I probably would have went out to the store just to look for a few pieces to add to the space, but you know what? This is a no-cost decorating. <laughs> so yeah, that's always great, right? When you can save a few bucks and staying safe by staying home. I hope you guys are doing that as well. So if you're interested in seeing how I've decorated this space behind my door, which is in our entryway, kind of like the coat rack area that we don't really use for coats, <laughs> then just keep watching. Today, I am showing you guys how I will be decorating this corner in our entryway. I showed you guys how I decorated the entryway table that's behind me here. And this space has been blank and I was trying to think of some creative ideas or ways to decorate it using only the items that I already have at my home since I can't go out shopping. And so, yeah, let's use what I have to put together a look so this space is not just completely blank. So let's get started. Okay guys, I think this is the completed look. I wish that I had a few more items to add, but again, I'm just using what I have here. And so I think it looks cute and it fills in the space. So we have our basket down here at the bottom and that's just a, one of those chalkboard signs from the dollar store that I used chalk and wrote shoes on it. So our guests will know when they come over, they place their shoes there. And we have this blessed, blessed sign that you guys saw me haul early in the spring from Ross. So I'm using it there. I was debating as to whether or not I was going to keep that sign, but I'm glad I did. Then I have my coffee filter wreath that you guys saw me make last year. And if you didn't see that video, I will have it linked uh, down below so you can check that out. It was I think it only cost me like $3 to make that wreath and I just added a burlap bow on it and on top I just have a picture and some greenery so I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer to see the look.
Okay, so now let's turn around and decorate the cross wall section of the entryway. So this is the area we'll decorate now. As you can see, it's pretty simple and I would like to keep it that way, but I do want to add just a few touches here to make it a little bit more spring, but this is how it looks on just an everyday basis. Okay guys, so here's the finished look on this side. Again, like I said, I wanted to keep it fairly simple, so I just added a couple of white ginger jars with um, the like farmhouse style beads that I got from Amazon with a little greenery and then a vase, metal vase filled with white florals. And I think this looks really nice and springy and simple. So let me bring you guys in closer for a closer look. Okay guys, so I hope that you all enjoy this video and that you like my space. Leave me comments down below to let me know what you think. I really like, well, let me, you guys tell me what parts do you like the best. Now I have to say I really like the basket. Uh, usually when our guests come over, they just leave their shoes in that corner. So I like the idea of having the basket to kind of corral everything to keep it a little bit neater. Although we're not having too many guests now with everyone staying home, but when things do get back to normal, then I think it will be a great way to um, keep the space looking a little less cluttered when all of the shoes are in one basket. So yeah, that's my thought on it. So leave me comments down below to let me know what you guys like the most about this space. And also let me know if you are completely done with all your spring decorating. I am almost done. This was the last space that I needed to complete and so now I'll just go through my homes and make a final few touches before I start my spring home tours. So that will be the next video coming up is our spring home tour for my downstairs space. You guys have seen me do a series of videos on decorating each space and so I will walk you through so you can see the entire space. I will also mention that I will be working on our outdoor spaces, so our front porch and our back porch. Um, that will come a little bit later in April because we've been having quite a bit of rain here lately. Um, so, and I've got to get creative <laughs> in using items that I have and figuring out how I can reuse items so that I can have a look that's a little bit different than what you've seen in the past without going shopping. <laughs> I have ordered a few items from Amazon, you guys did see that, and so, but I'm kind of being selective about that as well. I don't want to go um, order too, too much, and so, yeah, I'm going to try to continue to do um, decor using the majority of items that I already have at my home. So I hope that you guys will be sure to stop back by the channel and see all those videos as they come up. Alrighty, uh, again, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. Please be sure to click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of those videos that I just mentioned or any videos that I post any other time. Also, again, my faithful family members, mwah, mwah, mwah. you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And of course, I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.